And Michael Griffin is with us today. Now, this guy is like a crazy escape artist. Really crazy. Uh, and and you do all kinds of things, and you've done this for years, and you can get out of pretty much anything. Uh, pretty much anything. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't figure out the panic button on the rental car, <laughs> so I had to have a girl help me out. So every now and then, you meet a challenge that you can't quite overcome. Um, yeah. <laughs> have, seriously, have you ever been locked up in anything or enclosed in anything that you really kind of couldn't get out of. Well, we've come real close. And again, that's what the rehearsals are for because there's going to be ideas that you may even be at dinner and somebody may say, hey, what about this? You go, what about that? And you may try it and you may find a rehearsal that doesn't have any entertainment value. You may find a rehearsal that, oh, this really does break your neck. Mm -hmm. So let's try to figure <laughs> out a way not to do it. I did a hanging years ago. I became the only human to survive a real hanging. Wow. And my manager had said, how do you do that? I said, I don't know, but I can do it. So. I, I couldn't figure out a way to do it. I went out to the park and practiced hanging myself till the cops came out. <laughs> but, but they that, will come out for that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, so hanging yourself, I mean, is there anything that you won't do? I mean, is there anything that you look at and you go, that's, you know, that's a little pushing it? Well, I, I accept almost any rational challenge, but you, you really do have to draw the line because I, I really tend not to do anything involving animals because animals are way unpredictable. Right. Um, so I, I won't mess with that, really. Um, and every once in a while, somebody comes up with a, I hate to say it, but a dumb idea. It's like, they'll call in and say, I'll change you to the bottom of my four by four and take you out mud bumping. <laughs> it's like, next. <laughs> the pass. short bus is leaving, <laughs> hop on. <laughs> so you'll pretty much take up any challenge. Though. And that's what's interesting about you is that you're not just custom building all of your own things to no. get into and get out of. You actually encourage other people to see if they can trap you. That's actually the meat of the show. I, I think I'm the only person out there performing actual challenges where I will go into the arena. Somebody said it's, it's almost like you're a gladiator in the new Rome. But I will go in the challenge. Uh, I will accept the challenge. And they're going to try their best to beat me. And I'm going to try my best to get out. Whether you break a wrist, bloody up, it doesn't matter. You know, you told the folks you're going to try it, and you keep going. And, and this is part of what you're doing at the Rot Rally, too, is right. you're actually encouraging the audience to get you into a situation that you can't get out of, and what happens if you can't? Well, the thing that we're working with out at the Rot Rally, which is really, it's very interesting, it's cool out there, mm -hmm. um, is I'm working with a $1,000 rope challenge. So you've got people coming up from all walks of life there, and they want to tie you up with the rope, and if I can't get out, they go home a grand richer. Mm, I like that. And we had a group of them come up at the first show yesterday, and they really did a good job. They actually tied me up to a chair, and I think they did it around my neck so tight, it was like bulging. <laughs> but you made it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously he did. Uh, you know, you've encouraged us. I'm going to tie you up to it. You're going to become the first Austin Live guest that we've tied up. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's promising, isn't it? That you're yes. the first. Uh, but first, I want to see you get out of these handcuffs. We have some special yeah. handcuffs. Our intern here on Austin Live, her name is Kika. She does a phenomenal job. She's providing the handcuffs. And the key, please. Yeah, I'm going to open them up for you. And these handcuffs have a story. Yeah, there's actually an interesting backstory. When I first moved out to Hollywood, um, I, here's the key. I, I was always into collecting old magic or Houdini stuff and everything like that. And I met the acquaintance of a guy and he said, well, you know, I'll take you up to where the old remains of, the, of Houdini's estate are because it burned down years ago. Hmm. I said, are you serious? So we went up there. It was really freaky. And he goes, now I'm going to imagine. Yeah. I, and, well, I had a vibe to it. And he goes, now I'm going to take you down to another collector who's got a whole bunch of the artifacts that were found there. And I was able to walk away with these. Wow. Did they cost and you big? It wasn't that expensive because this was like 25 years ago, maybe 30 years ago. That's very cool, though, to have something um, of Houdini's. Well, yeah, well, I like the history of them, too. I mean, because you've even got some of the burn marks on them. Still. Oh, yeah, from the fire. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to put yourself in these. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm going to do, people have always asked, they've always said, when you do a handcuff escape, it's, you're usually hidden from view or you're in a jail cell and we can't see you do right. it. So I thought what I would do for you is I'm actually going to do a, a handcuff escape visually and maybe, you know, entertain you. Okay. I'm sure you will. Well, hopefully. <laughs> but so the real got, handcuffs. Yeah, you've got yeah. the key. I've got the key. Okay, so watch this. Mm, one hand out. Now, a lot of people are going to think, because it's a smooth handcuff, you just slipped it off. Because there is some movement there. Right. So I'll even make it tighter. Okay, so it's tighter now yeah. on the left hand. So this is where it gets really weird. Like when you're in a jail cell or something. How do you get out of something if you can't physically touch the lock? Well, it's like an athlete. An athlete has been trained all of his life to actually see the end result in his mind before it even happens. Right. That's what I do, because I can't physically touch the handcuff but I can touch it in a different way. Okay. Almost, most, hopefully, like with the willing. <laughs> 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 
What did you do? And there you go. How did you do that? I've been doing it forever, because what you do is, if you actually believe, you know, all of us are locked up in a straitjacket all of our own. It's not a physical straitjacket. It could be drugs Sometimes and alcohol. Sometimes it is, but yeah. Could be, could be uh, negative thinking, could be progression. It doesn't matter. Right. But when you find yourself in those straitjackets and you want out, put your mind to it and you will escape. And you've actually been in straight jackets and found your way out. So you yes, know I what have. you're talking about here. Yes, I have. That's phenomenal because I was watching your hand. I was watching your wrist and nothing moved. That's creepy. Some people and I think it's, well, they think it's dislocation. Can you get in tight on this one finger? Because I can do, I can bend it like that or take it off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, wasn't that was creepy. That, that was, was not real. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay, so now let's tie you up. Oh, Kika. do you mind if we tie you up? Come on on, Kika. I'm going to uh, do a little experiment okay, here. Okay, let's do something here. I want... We've got Kika the intern on one Kika. side. What I want you guys to do is pull on the rope, because I know the folks at home don't get the advantage of actually touching the rope. So okay. will you guys verify for the folks watching that it's just a piece of regular it's rope? It's a real rope. It doesn't break anywhere. Nice move. All right. <laughs> now, Trusty assistant, Jason. <laughs> Jason, what I want you to do is hold the rope out like that. Okay. Because I'm going to put my wrist down. Okay. And then I just want you to bring the rope up on top of the wrist. Okay. And just tie a knot. And okay. Then, I'm going to have you come in and help him. Okay. So behind the, the bone flare. You okay. understand? Yeah, so okay, that you bring don't it up have tight. a lot of... That's okay. right. Bring it up tight. All right. Kika, will you put, uh, come in and put your finger in? Wait, do I need to do this first? I think I need it there. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, pull the next knot on it really super tight. All right. I'm the worst knot maker, That's okay. but okay. Okay, and do one more to lock it in. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make sure good. you don't get out of this. <laughs> All right, Kika, will you hold on to your end over there? Jason, will you hold on to your end over there? I got it. Okay, now, what I'm, you can see some of the cuts on my wrist from other escapes. Um, but what I'm going to do, a producer once said, if we tie you up with rope, can you escape as fast as is humanly possible? And I, I said to the guy, I said, you know what? it might be possible to escape faster than humanly possible. And he goes, no way. I go, way. He goes, no way. I go, way. So <laughs> you guys have tied me up, and you've tied it up behind the bone flare. Right. So you can see it's impossible to go down. Hold Just tight. It's impossible to go up. It's impossible to go forward. And because it's behind the bone flare, it's impossible to go backwards. So I want you to pull tight. Pull tight. Pull real tight. Get it, Kika. Pull it. <laughs> pull it tight. This does nothing for it, just builds up suspense. <laughs> pull it's it a tight. good workout, too. You got it? Pull tight. Hop! How did you do that? <laughs> Look, the knot is still there. We tied it behind the bone flare, and he got out. And you, you're hardly red. That's amazing. Got to go see this guy. He's at the <laughs> Rot Rally. Check him out. If you can tie him up, we couldn't, obviously, and keep him in there. But if you can, you get a thousand bucks for it if he can't escape. Thanks for coming on with us. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure. Check this wrist out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very nice.